Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today I wanted to kind of do a kind of review slash demo of the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Eyeshadow Palette. Now I've already dived into this palette and used it a bunch already and I found the perfect eye look or one of my favorite eye looks um, to use with this palette. So let's get into it. So I'm going to do the eye look first, or no, I'm going to do the swatches first and then I'm going to be doing the eye look. So let's get into the swatches. Now it's time to swatch the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Eyeshadow Palette. Okay, I'm trying to get this in the frame. Okay, so we have Stone. I really, really like this one. It's like a taupey brown color. I love it. And then we have Whisper. There's another like taupey shimmery shade. And then Ella is a darker brown shimmer. And then Vague. I love this one. It's like a a mauve pink, purpley pink. And then we have Travertine. I love this shade. It's an, another shade that I really like to use for every day. It's so nice, and it's another shimmer shade. I love it. Okay, so next row, I swatched a ColourPop Super Shock shadow next to this shade, which is Muse, and it's so much like they're so similar. Um, I swatched the color Ritz, or almost like Delilah too. Okay, anyway, and the first shade in the second row is Delilah, like I mentioned. Um, I really do like this shade. It's a cop another copper shimmer shade. I absolutely love it. It's so pretty. And then we have Silhouette. It's the darkest shade in the palette. And it's a matte, which I love. I like I like to use this one for an eyeliner, which is amazing. And then we have Muse. Muse is probably my favorite shade in the entire eyeshadow palette, I think, so far. And it's right smack dab right in the middle. And I think it's amazing. And then we have Fair. Barely see it because it, it it's really close to my skin tone. But I do really like that one too. That one is a great one. And then we have Filigree, which is so pretty. I love that shade. Too. Okay, now the last row. I do have more than one favorite eyeshadow in this palette. So then we have last row. We have Wit Sheen. I think Sheen is more like Ritz. I think maybe. And then we have Tender, which is another taupe shade. And then Mesh, which is great. I love to use Mesh for a crease shade. And then Mia, which is my other really favorite shimmer shade. Now, I actually want to compare this palette to the Natasha Denona Glam palette. So I'll be right back once I get that set. Okay, don't mind the tripod and the computer in frame, but this is the only way I could really do it. So. We have the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude eyeshadow palette and the Glam palette. I absolutely love these two palettes. These are the only two Natasha Denona products I have and I absolutely love it. Um, so let's dive in. So I'm going to just really compare the two palettes. So this one is definitely, they're both kind of cooler tones. There's some cooler tones in this one and cool tones in this one. This is more like rosy or taupey colors. There is some taupe in here, but this one leans more like pinky mauve colors. I think overall these two eyeshadow palettes are great. I absolutely love them. Um, I think I'm gonna use this one that I need a nude for more every, everyday eyeshadow palette. And then the glam I'm gonna use more for a evening out special occasion type of look. I'm not gonna do like comparing swatches though because I've done a lot of swatches already in my hand. Like there's so much glitter on my arm right now. I don't know if you can kind of see, let's see. So much glitter on my arm right now. So I'm not gonna do any more. Yeah, now let's get into the uh, eyeshadow look. Okay, for this look, I wanted to do kind of like a, an everyday makeup look. So what I'm actually gonna do, I didn't do this before, but I'm gonna do it this time. I am going to take my bronzer that I used 
on the face. I'm going to take the ColourPop Matte Bronzer in Villa Beach. I'm going to apply this just in the crease for a base shadow or a crease shadow, I should say, to start off the look. I'm gonna take the color any I'm gonna take any shimmery shadow. So I when I do the, this everyday look, I kind of switch between the three or the yeah, the three. So I'm, I use Whisper, Travertine, and Sheen. So today I'm gonna use Whisper. I'm going to apply Whisper on the entire eyelid. And I love to apply I mean, all of these shimmer shades in this palette with my finger. Okay, then I'm actually going to take a brush this time. I'm going to use the color Mesh. We are going to place this on the outer part of the eye. And like into the crease as well. Just to give a little bit of definition in the crease. Oops. Oh. Then with my angled eyeliner brush, or with my eyeliner brush, this is the Morphe and Ariel brush number E16. I'm going to take the color Silhouette. I'm going to line the lash line with this. I'm going to create a small line on the lash line. I'm going to go into mascara. I'm going to use the Shiseido Lash Curler to curl the lashes first. And then I'm going to use my Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extension Mascara. I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye on my lashes and then apply mascara. And then I'm also going to apply the same mascara to the bottom lashes as well. Now let's move on to the lips. So for a lip liner, I'm going to use the NYX Lip Liner in Nude Beige. This is actually my favorite color liner. It's amazing. Okay, for a lipstick, I'm going to use my Revy Beauty Effortless Lips Lipstick in Lily. Allie Glines did such a good job on these lipsticks. I absolutely love them. They're my, I think they're my favorite lipstick of all time. Especially this color. I really like to use this color for an everyday look. To do the brows, I'm going to take the NYX The Brow Glue. This one is a clear one. Then I'm going to set the face using the Revolution Hydrate and Fix Setting Spray. I love the way that my makeup looks when I press in the setting, setting spray after. I spray it, it's amazing, and it really lasts a long time. My makeup really lasts a long time when I do this extra step. That was it for today's video. See you guys in the next one. Bye!